Hey, welcome back to the channel. On the docket today, I've got a 66 Nova SS. This is of the Resto Mod variants. We're gonna show you ins and outs, go for a drive, and this is for sale. So tune in at the end, we're gonna show you where you can check it out on our website. We're gonna kick off right at the front end of this. Just wanna to touch on the bright work force before we pop that hood. Chrome is in very nice shape. Those headlight lenses, our grill, everything has a really nice shine to it. And you check this out, just underneath, have our hood release. Oh yeah, there's some LS power for you. You see this thing is decorated, amped up with a Holly aluminum intake manifold. We've got a large throttle body on there. You see it's a 92 millimeter. Nice cold air induction system on it. Um, this is equipped with air conditioning, power steering, and power brakes. You even look at our shock towers here. They are sporting some billet coilover top hats. So the car is riding on coilovers. It's got all the suspension and brakes, everything you could want to go with this kind of jammy under here. Aluminum radiator, nice and thick. This is about a three and a half inch core with electric fan on it. And you see we have a Willwood Master with a polished booster behind it. This thing stops on a dime and we're gonna show you that. That closed up nicely. We'll work our way down the, the side of this car. The trim is all there and in very nice shape. No, uh, no dents or blemishes to, to speak of. So you've got a beautiful set of chrome five-spoke wheels with a Willwood six-piston caliper behind those. Those are the Mac Daddy, I like that. And that's a drilled and slotted rotor. And those have very, very few miles on them. I think just less than 100. Our gaps are very nice and tight body looks to be blocked nicely before they put on this beautiful white paint. This car does have disc brakes out back as well. We come around the side of the rear quarter here, get our right work from the bumper, the trim on the deck lid here, all in good shape. My guess, this is probably an original piece here. You see just a slight bit of pitting on that. But it still shines lovely. Give you a peek inside of our trunk. All right, not much to it. Nice carpet kit. You see we have a billet aluminum battery tie down with the power cutoff. This is very handy if you're storing the car, not using it that week. Shut the power down or maybe you're storing it for winter. And then just as easy as this to turn it off, you can turn it right back on. Definitely gonna save you a battery. I want to talk about the back glass. This trim fits very, very nicely all the way around it. The glass is in good shape. And you'll notice around this car, everything but the windshield just has a nice light tint to it. And it gives this car a tough look. Unless we have original LOF panes in here. All the window moldings, I think up here, the drip rail moldings, all in very nice shape, good polish to it. And the fitment on this side is just as nice. Everything is well and even. All right, she's a liquor. White over red is absolutely a treat. Uh, we have the factory door cards that look to be in wonderful shape. This is a manual window. So you got a nice little armrest there too. Now uh, inside, beautiful bench covered in a factory pattern. So you got the same thing matching out back here. All the seat belts are present. The package tray looks good. We got two speakers up there. I think those are six by nines. Headliner is tight. Dome lamp is working. And we'll come up here to all of our instruments. So we've got a nice big steering wheel. It's a Chevy 2 right in the center of it. Pretty good shape for the wheel. I bet you this is original. You see just a little bit of color worn off it. Come into the instruments. It shows 75,000 miles. Speedo going up to 120. And then just over here on the left-hand side, we have some Stuart Warner gauges with the water temp and oil pressure. The lights are wipers. I have a air ignition, and then a cigarette lighter. And with the vintage air kit, you have this under dash unit here with two vents in the center, and then there's one over there for the passenger and another one up over here for the driver's side. And another nice thing too, I'm seeing some billet pedals down here from low car, those look sharp. Glove box looks nice. It is shortened due to the factory air kit, but still functional for things like the owner's manual and storage case for a head unit. All right, we're rolling out here. 
shifted second. I love the snappiness of you know, the modern fuel injection engines. This is a 5.3 liter LS in here. It's got aluminum heads on it, uh, mild cam. You see there's some uh, headers bolted onto it. Obviously the high flowing intake manifold with the tall runners. Uh, this thing makes a good bit of power. And of course this is a very light little car. Uh, our power steering feels like a million bucks and it shows I'm doing about 45 through that turn. The coilovers in the front end of this thing with the added sway bars front and back really makes this a treat. You feel like you're riding on rails. And of course we got a lot wider tire all the way around this thing than ever before. And with those wheel woods, you can shut it right back down. Oh yeah. Now this thing is smooth as can be. liked enjoyed want to see more i recommend you like and subscribe to the channel lastly before we go this is very well hooked up there's been a lot of money and time invested to get this car to this level and we're very proud to offer it and if you want to check out more of the details there'll be a link in the description right at the bottom of this video down here check out our photo gallery i write up on it i know we got a big stack of paper with all these receipts if you want to give us a holler right now it is for sale the number is 248-714-2110 call text email whatever it be thank you guys we'll see you in the next video